Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. So yes, like you know that on this week we get Laswa and Regan banner. So let's talk about Regan and Laswa first. So first thing I like them better than Fina and Regan are they are true dual world characters. So by becoming true dual world characters, that mean they able to change their elements much easier okay because you can simply equip one elemental weapon on the left hand and right hand non-elemental weapon easy okay they are also able to imperil ice and fire element by 120 percent they also of course they also able to imbue the ice and fire but i don't think that's big deal because like i said they are true dual wield you, they can easily change weapon for element if you if you are lazy to uh, imbue them with element because their imbue come from uh, Grandis or Magnus abilities okay so it is limited and they also have huge fire and ice damage buff usually you only get about 15% 20% but they have 30% so yes maybe only 10% difference but trust me they matter especially on dark vision or other tight situation and for killer they are specialized on dragon 200% dragon killer on passive and 50% human so it's a, it's same like Fina and Rain but yeah instead of beast they have dragon right and in battle they have 150% dragon killer for all allies so again they gonna be really useful on dark vision to buff your mage or physical attackers and they also have spammable 60% damage mitigation which help you against uncoverable attacks so pretty good characters and another thing that i prefer is their limit burst on normal form it is a self tech chaining like Fina and Rain but the good news is it is not locked to fire or any element and because they able to easily change their weapons I can say that um, they are better self chainer than Fina and Rain yes I know the damage may be lower it has like 100 times yeah 100 times best damage and like you know that rain limit burst is about 120 if i'm not mistaken so yes rain is more damaging but in terms of flexibility this last gen is the winner okay and i prefer him because of this and on brave she form their limit burst also powerful it is a finishing attack 140 times damage modifier so yes even yes i know it's good okay it is only one hit but again it is finishing ability so i don't think anything special about it okay because yes nothing special it is simply high damaging finisher okay that's it and for weakness they probably have a little bit problem filling their limit burst why because they don't have auto regen for their limit burst if you remember that Fina and Rain have a cooldown ability that will make their limit burst gauge full for two turns for last scan you cannot do that so if you really want to constantly use their limit burst maybe you need to have someone that able to fill limit burst gauge for them okay and i can say that their breath sheet form are kind of the same like their normal form if you remember fina and rain the normal form is for physical the no the breath sheet form is for magical attack but for last gen both are same for the abilities okay the normal form is ice or the breath sheet form is fire i forget okay or vice versa I forget the elements but yeah you get what i mean okay and yeah the another difference is the limit burst that's what i have talked about after that same so maybe not that creative but again not not a real weakness okay 
It is simply a lazy design in my opinion, but still pretty good characters and his I mean them their trust master reward are pretty insane especially for true dual build characters because if you equip sword and katana that mean you get 110% attack boost wow it is better than stmr okay because if you remember stmr usually only give you 80% i know it is restricted to sword and katana but still the boost is insane okay so if you if you think that Oh, last game is pretty lame. I don't want to get him. And in the future, you get him. You don't need to be sad because, yeah, the Trust Master reward is powerful. But I think everyone gonna be happy when they get last game. Okay. And for the STMR, um, this one is good. But I don't think it is that great like Fina and Rain STMR. Because if you remember that for Sword, we have Fusion Sword from Advent Children Cloud. Actually, I'm not sure, okay, Advent Children Cloud STMR, is it Sword or Great Sword? I forget, okay, sorry guys, but the point here is the limit burst damage increase only 25%. Like Zantetsu can, they have like 30% limit burst damage, so this is not that special except when you fight against Dragon because this also have 75% Dragon Killer. So, yes good stmr without a doubt but a little bit niche okay so that's all for last game now let's talk about infernal fire rain so for infernal fire rain i can say he is quite interesting character because the normal and perhaps she form have different roles on normal form he is your mm, normal chainer okay stardust ray and another thing that make him great is he has great beast and plant killer so yes even when the damage modifier are not that special he is definitely useful when you fight against beast or plant enemies so good for dark vision for breath she form he tries to become terra neo vision because he becomes fire evoker and yes i said fire evoker it is locked to fire element so on normal ability, I mean, on normal brave shift abilities, he chain with bolting strike fire element. So if you let's say if you want to chain with bolting strike, mm, this one is decent. But again, bolting strike is physical move, so I don't think it is that great. Okay, especially on dark vision because usually dark vision have require you to use physical or magic, except on the last stage where the physical and magic attack are effective okay so this is kind of strange chaining but still if you want to use it you can and another annoying thing about the brave shift form is the limit burst the limit burst okay lock to fire and the damage modifier is kind of low only 70 times okay 70 times maybe not that low because terra if i'm not mistaken it is 80 but the problem is it is not one hit attack like Terra. It is 24 hits. So yes, you need to have duplicate to chain it perfectly. So mm, I can say that he is poor man's Terra, but kind of far away from Terra. Because you because yes, I can say his passives on Brave Ship Form are not great for Evoker. I will talk more about it on review video but definitely he is better than Fina and Dark Fina but yeah I don't think you should chase him okay if you get him accidentally then good but not not something I will recommend okay okay and for the trust mastery word I can say it's decent but the best thing about him is the STMR this STMR gonna gives you 50% killer on cloth. So yes, this cloth is niche, but definitely useful when you fight against beasts. Because right now, the meta is to stack as many killer as possible. Attack stats through dual wield, they are not big problem on today because we can equip vision card. The really big problem is the killers, okay? 
So this one is good, but again, because this is niche, I don't think you should try to chase this unless yeah, you have beast enemies or beast trials that you really cannot defeat. You need to have this, then maybe you can chase this, but no normal situation, I don't think so, okay? Good STMR, not a bad thing if you obtain multiple copy of Infernal Fire Rain, okay? So those are two characters on this week. Now the final question, should you summon? So like usual, yes, you should summon if... I know that lots of you have not getting Fina and Rain because you have saved for last gen. So it is your time. You don't need to save anymore. Go all out on this banner to get last gen because yes, he is pretty good. Okay, self-chaining with element flexibility i loved it okay this is the time and infernal fire rain is also much better unit than fina and darfina okay so those are your reasons and of course i will also say like usual don't summon if yes remember that i believe two more weeks okay yeah two more weeks we probably get Chinese New Year event on FFBE. Remember that on last year we had Emperor Fu, Swan Wu, and Ching Long. We also have you, okay? Yeah, you, if I'm not saying you, and I forget, okay? I can only remember three Chinese New Year units, okay? But I think they will make comeback on this year, and yes, they're gonna have Neo Vision Awaken forms, so that's something I will wait for and of course a new Chinese New Year units again maybe they are not something that may are they are not something OP because if you remember on Christmas we get Eldrin I don't say Eldrin is bad but mm, I think if you miss Eldrin you are perfectly okay but again maybe there will be something that really powerful okay maybe okay because if you remember Last year, Swan Wu and Ching Long are insane. Okay, I can say that they are one of the best units from last year, usable for many months because of their insane spirit. And I believe they also get um, Neo Vision Awakening, and maybe they able to self chain. It will be interesting. Okay, it will be interesting. So let's wait. Okay, and again, you can simply delay. You don't need to worry about last gen because last gen, like other banners, last for two weeks, right? So wait for about one week and a half. Wait until Chinese New Year banner info come out so you can predict whether the characters are good or not. And if you think Chinese New Year characters are not interesting, then you can still pull for last gen. Okay? That's my recommendation for you. And Infernal Fire Rain, like I said, he is better than Fina and Dark Fina, but not something I will chase. Especially if you have Terra Neo Vision. Okay? So I think that's all you need to know about this week banner. I hope this helped you. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy, product excuse video, and see you on the next video. Bye-bye, guys.